so it's been quite some time <clears throat> that my voice has been really hurting a lot. It's um, been stinging and piercing so bad. <clears throat> it hurts so hard. So um, since that incident, I've not been able to work canceling video shows, virtual home studio shows, <clears throat> not really being able to hold conversations on the phone with people very easily, and I'm just continuing to break down and cry because I don't cry or feel bad for me, but I have such sorrow. I've been working since 2006 on this project, pulling myself out of disability and trying to come back. Now secondhand smoke has taken my throat and punched a hole in it like punching a wall. Something inside there really, really hurts. But what's hurting most is I can't work anymore. I can't sing. I can't really do the kind of work I used to do, and now I can't, during this COVID-19 virus, can't go out and sing with people, but worst of it, I lost my voice over these cigarettes. I've been trying to stay really, really strong through this disability, and I don't have disability, and I have healthcare workers for cheap. So it comes out of pocket, and I'm not a high-income human being. I'm a poverty-type income human being. So I'm working myself to the bone, trying to get back out there and help people, connect people, teach them breathing, and singing, and music, and art, and have all these things that have helped me therapeutically as a shut-in with a broken neck, I've had to just live as a shut-in for the last 10 years. And the thing that I worked really hard to get back after my surgeries <clears throat> was my singing, because it was always my special joy, even as a little girl, just holding my own hands up to my face and singing myself to sleep. I can't even do that now. And that hurts in my heart. <laughs> Don't feel sad for me. I just I have to go quiet. I have to go missing my voice. And it's just made me so anxious. It's sad when right now I need to be out there helping the world more than ever. So I started with my community right here in this park. I instigated a warning against the landlord after two years of interrupting just the pleasure of being outside and having fresh air. If I go into it, it's terrible. I'm allergic to it, so guess what happens? <clears throat> I can't breathe. So what? I know how to deal with it. I run. And I slam all the windows shut as best that I can. And my poor little disabled body as best I can. I try to stay strong and look strong. But when I smell one of those cigarettes, it's like... But I can't realize when I breathe. So, with that being said, anyone out there smoking cigarettes or considering quitting smoking cigarettes, tobacco, secondhand smoke is a kill. So, like I said, <clears throat> I started with my community and instigated a no smoking cigarette tobacco outdoors whatsoever and then the next day there was smoke being blown out the windows so we instigated another fight at the landlords and called and now we have watchdogs watching and smelling to sniff them out because this is an elderly home care facility where people live in mobile homes you can't get away from the drift of a cigarette, secondhand smoke. You can't. You inhale each other's exhales, <laughs> and now it hurts me to breathe again and talk 
And worst of all, I can't sing and do my job. But I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to take everything from me. They're just not. So I'm going to stand up strong. Keep my heart breathing good. I'm sending love to all of you there. I'm going to keep loading stuff up and just pray for all of you that want to quit cigarettes. Now's the time. We have time to clean up the air, clean up our act, and give back to the earth our natural, beautiful souls. <coughs> because, <coughs> excuse me for coughing and saying so, but after three neck surgeries, I could be a felon. <laughs> going out in the air and coughing right now, so I've not really gone outside much. <coughs> Even though I don't have COVID-19, I've been tested. So, <coughs> it's sad, the state of the world, but this is basically in the jungle changing your story. <laughs> if there's a revolution made by the animals, and that would be now, and it needs to clean up our act, clean up our air, clean up our hearts and our minds and our thoughts out there and inside here. The most important thing we can do is stand and look at ourselves and what we do and what we have done. <coughs> <coughs> Coughing and fighting for air is something, ironically, now I do every single day. And it's a fight. <coughs> Excuse me, with mucus, saliva, and tremors from a neck injury and severe neurological disorders. So, yeah, truth on the table. We can't fix this, but I want to help fix the world because that's the job I'm here to do. Teach breathing and let you know how much you are loved. None of you will be forgotten. The strength is in your heart strength is in your lungs, and a belief in your fresh air. Stay safe. Stay true to yourself. And find who is it that you are now. Stay healthy, everybody. We will all breathe fresh air again, and so will the animals and creatures, and we will all be appreciative of this time that we are suffering losses including myself, over this pandemic, I've been threatened, and my life has been threatened multiple times right here in this community. So I'm taking a stand in my own mobile home park community for the community, and that's what I did. You can do that in your own apartment buildings. If people are throwing smoke out the window, please, people, stop. We need your health, not your wealth. We need you healthy on the ground, helping each other live healthy and safely. Reduce no violence. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Help each other get back up off of the streets. And please, no racism, no bigotry. We don't have time for these things. We don't have time for lies and smatterings of untruths. This is the time of transparency. So let yourself be seen. Do all the right things. Because you already know when you step over your own line. We beg of you, have changes of hearts. And we beg of you, step up. Stand up taller. Breathe deeper and stronger. And if you have to go outside, <clears throat> Because there are people out there whose landlords are irresponsible. There's people out there whose landlords can't afford to clean up a building because they've suffered themselves. There are people who can't afford to pay rent and still live in a place that is giving their children asthma from mold. So please, all landlords out there who are pretending to be greedy. You have now the opportunity to stand for the people who have paid you money. Stand with the community.
stand with the people. And now is the time for me as a landlord, landowner, tenants and rentees. Please share the love. We only have that choice left.